Before we get on to the actual turning here, I just wanted to quickly talk about drive centers. This is the drive center that came with my uh, Nova DVR lathe. It's got a non-removable tip in the middle and it's got four spurs. Uh, it, it works very well, grips the work very well and, and turns it very well. The only problem is if when you're learning and you have a catch, it keeps moving the wood without any mercy at all. So I don't use it very much. It's a very good one. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it very much. This is one that I got off of my mini lathe and uh, the only thing that's different about this one is it does have a removable tip. You stick a screwdriver in there and pop that out and you can remove that tip. Then you can do um, other things with it I guess. I don't know. I, again, I don't use it very often um, because it's got again the, the four drive points which, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a traditional thing. It's just that it is rather unmerciful when you get a catch. The drive center that I do use a lot for two main reasons is this one. This is one that Jean-Francois Escalon gave me uh, when he was here after a demonstration. Thank you very much, Jean. It's a very useful tool. And he actually makes and sells these. But you can buy this for steel um, turning. And the steel is, is soft enough, compared to the high-speed steel of your lathe turning tools, that you can actually turn this little cup. Hope you can see that. This little cup on the end and uh, tip on there. In fact, I've returned it a couple times if I happen to, you know, must mess it up a bit. The big advantage about this is, because of its length, when you're working on spindle turning, it gets it this much farther out from the headstock, and the DVR headstock is fairly bulky. One of the things I don't like about the lathe, but it's not a huge handicap. There are ways to work around it. So because the headstock is quite bulky, it's better if it gets it out a bit from, from the... Uh, from the headstock. Now, of course, you know, the further you go out, the more vibration you have, etc. But for spindle turning, I find that's not really much of an issue. Um, one way sells uh, uh, a center. I think they, I believe they call this a safety center. Um, it's got several advantages as well. It's got a removable tip, which this one doesn't have. And uh, they just sell it like it is. It's, uh, yeah, it says one way right on there. The, the disadvantage with this one, of course, <coughs> is it's quite a bit closer to the headstock. That's a disadvantage for me with my lathe. With a different kind of lathe, maybe that's not such a big deal. But on um, the DVR, the difference in the d distance it sticks out from the lathe is significant. So the way that I overcome that, if I want to use a one-way lathe, is I bought one of these quill extenders. Uh, I can't remember where I bought it. One of the online guys, Woodcraft or someone like that. <clears throat> and this is a Morse taper number two. Goes in there, that goes in there. It gets me out actually even further than the one from Jean-Francois. This works fairly well. Uh, you got to make sure it's clean, otherwise you will get a bit of wobble to it. But again, it works very well for extending the workout past. The beauty of these kind of cup centers is that they have, um, oh, barely get out of there, is that because of this design, they have, the, the cup will spin if you get a catch, which is very good for beginners. Uh, if you're teaching someone or you're beginning yourself, if you happen to catch um, on the wood, instead of the wood just continually turning and digging your tool in further and freaking you out and you have to go change your underwear, it just stops spinning. And of course the more pressure you apply with the tailstock, the, the tighter it will grip. But for the most part, um, it works very well for doing a lot of this spindle turning because it doesn't grip really, really tight. When you're learning, uh, I think if you're doing production work or you're a professional, of course you would use one of these because you don't want the, you don't want the work to, to spin. You want the work to continue cutting, but you're not going to be having a lot of catches if you're a pro, hopefully, I guess. Okay, that's what I wanted to say about those. Both of these are excellent. Uh, you can make this one yourself. I do believe Jean-Francois Escalon sells them uh, on his website. He's in France, of course, so you're going to have to pay shipping. But they do work. Uh, it works very well. It's especially good for smaller pieces, um, more delicate pieces, because it has a very small cup, but also because it gets it out away from the headstock. Okay, we're going to move on then to to uh, doing some turning and I'm going to show you how the, uh, the, the skew that is sharpened with the convex uh, grind on it, how well it works.